Hey everyone, Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Leonard here with you today, and uh, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. Um, so today I am going to expand a bit on our topic from last week, so if you missed that, please feel free to watch the previous video from last Wednesday. Um, but the reason why I want to talk some more about it is because I feel like maybe I missed the mark a bit last week in terms of what our topic was and how it's relating to what's going on in the world right now, right? So um, just as a quick refresher, um, the two points that I talked about last week were um, how important it is to practice simple, simple habits like being present, being in the now, and being positive. You know, so I, I, um, again, just a brief a, a bit about last week's message was it was, um, you know, after going on a, a trip with my daughters when they were little girls and to this camp that they did um, for their school. And the two big uh, guidelines that the kids had to follow was be in the now. And if you say one put down, you have to say at least three put ups is what they call them. And, you know, again, the point being like, it is being instead of saying so much negative say more positive things and um i think you know it hit me um a little bit later after last week's facebook live like i think with what's going with what's going on in our world right now we as adults we owe it to the world to start practicing those same simple simple principles like be present. And again, part of the reason why that is so important right now is for one, if we want to have really big connections with people, like true deep connections with others, we need to be present with them. We need to be in the moment. But uh, maybe more importantly, well, not more importantly, but one of the big pieces that right now I think is so important with that is that change can only happen in the present moment, right? Like, being present and in the now, and if you, again, watched last week's video, I talked about that action, any kind of action that we do, it can only happen in the present moment. We can talk about what we want to do in the future. We can think about what's happened in the past, and we can think about history, but action happens in the now, in the present moment. And and I get it. Like, I see people all the time posting it, and it's funny, um, and I, I probably think it and say it too, like, man, we just need to get 2020 over with. Um, and, and we're wishing the year away, but what if we started to look at it different and we started to embrace the moments, every single moment we're in as an opportunity to create change and to, um, you know, just be in action because again, that change can only happen in the present moment when we're in action. So that's the first piece. And then that second one of, you know, um, for every put down to have three put ups, the concept there again is really just like, man, you know, instead of saying so much negative, instead of um, being stuck in the problems and the negativity, to sp spend more energy and effort on the positives and the solutions. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying all of this today, this isn't a political post or statement or anything like that. This is just about being the best version of yourself and being kind. Like, regardless of what your views are on anything going on in the world right now, I think we can all agree that being your best and being kind is something that would help everyone. It would help you personally. It would help those you are um, connected with most closely, you know, the people who are most important to you in your life. And it can help the whole world if we could all practice those two simple things, you know, being present, being the best version of yourself and being kind um, and being positive. So, you know, that's really my message today. Again, I don't have all the answers and I know these two simple principles aren't going to change the world completely. Like this isn't the answer. These are just a couple concepts to get us started. Um, so think about that, you know, like what if you started right now being present in the moment? What if you decided to start taking action and practicing being the best version of yourself? What if you started speaking kind, positive words to everyone you encountered? What if there was less judgment and more kindness? What if we all started focusing on the solutions instead of being stuck in the problems? Like how different things could be, right? So 
I mean, I feel like right now the world needs us. Everybody who watches this, uh, this, this video and who follows me, you know I'm always talking about how important it is that we are leaders and that we step up and do our best to try to change, uh, to, to be influencers and to be role models for others. And um, that starts, again, when we step up, when we start speaking up and speaking positively, when we start being kind and acting with kindness, when we start being that best version of ourselves so that we can bring that to the rest of the world. And so I want to encourage you today, you know, to, to, to start that now. Again, we're talking about that presence and we're talking about action happening now. And, and we're talking about like being that positive person, being that kind, caring person, being someone who's ready to roll up their sleeves and start taking action towards um, being the change we want to see in the world. I mean, I think that's, you know, Gandhi said that, uh, long ago. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And I think that right now the world does need us to start stepping up and being that change. And it can start again with just these two simple concepts that I'm sharing with you today, which is, you know, being present and in the now, because that's where action and change happens. And being more positive than negative. I know, you know, if you turn on the news, if you look through social media, there's so much negativity right now. Like it's heartbreaking, really. And I'm not saying, I mean, it's, it's real, you know, there's, there's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of um, division between people right now. And it's sad. Um, and I know that again, these two simple principles are not the only answers. There's, there's so much that needs to be done, but these are places to start. So I want to really encourage you and, and challenge you to start. Start looking for ways that you can step up and practice being that change, that change that you want to create in the world, the change you want to see in the world. Um, and no more wishing away the year. Like it's here and we're in it. So it's time for us to really step into it and start taking action so that we can be the change that we do want to see in our world. So I just want to challenge you to do that. Um, you know, start now, start um, growing and let's, let's make this year that theme of growth and change and um, positive growth and change and step into that fully um, wherever you can and with whomever you can. Just keeping in mind, if you're being your best, it helps everyone. And if you're acting with kindness, that's never a bad choice. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with one th final thought, something that uh, kind of hit me as I was writing this week's post. And if you don't get my emails, I would encourage you to go to michellewimer.com, grab, um, you know, sign up for a little free gift I have for you there, grab that gift, and then you'll get access to my posts and my, my weekly mailings where I share content and information. But the thought is, in light of all that's going on in our world right now, kindness can be more contagious than COVID and love can be bigger than hate. But we have to be the ones who start to create those changes. So please go out and be that change that you wanna see in the world today. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, bye for now.